Hey ladies, I'm back with another video. If you're interested in these kawaii nails, then stay tuned. All right, so we're going to start off with the pop-off method, which is cuticle oil on the nails and um, two coats of gel top coat. You're going to cure the gel top coat 60 seconds in between each other before you apply the tips. Now these are the tips that I use. I use the same tips in every video. They are from Dynamic Nail Supply. They need to sponsor me already. Um, but I will go ahead and put the link in the description bar. All of the products that I am using um, that you can order online will be in the description. So I am gluing the nail tips on and that's how they look. Um, Y'all know I love long nails so I'm only cutting just the tips off of the top of the nail. Now this glitter is from uh, um, Hobby Lobby, so that's a little secret. So you guys don't have to go and buy expensive glitter from the nail supply stores. You can actually create your own. You can go to Michael's, Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, and get choose some glitter and mix it in with some clear acrylic or whatever color acrylic that you want the undertone to be. And make it yourself, sis. Keep them coins in your pocket. So you're going to see that I'm adding on the glitter and the uh, little heart pieces onto the nail first. Um, usually I make the glitter thick enough to where I don't have to do too much encapsulating, but this glitter was kind of on the larger side and it was heavy. So as you can see, it keeps dropping, girl. Just do what you do, but watch my shoes, okay? Pick it up and put it on on there and spread it and design it the way that you want. And once you are satisfied with um, how the glitter is laid down, then go ahead and cap it in. Um, so you can add a little bit more acrylic to make it thicker. Um, so it won't, you know, be so thin. But if you would like to like manipulate the glitter and where it goes as you're putting it on, then keep it on the thin side so after I've applied the glitter um, I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate it because of course I couldn't leave just a thin layer on like that as soon as you start filing girl it's gonna come right off or the nail is so thin it'll break so just make sure that when you add that you are you know adding the correct consistency to make sure that the nail is going to be stable you know, it's not just about being cute, sis. We want it to be stable as well. So we're going to go ahead and encapsulate that in. Um, so we can go ahead and go to the next one. Y'all, I got this little cheap brush. Don't judge me. And it's just, the hair just falling out, girl. Just falling out. We need, to, anyway, let's move on. So I'm just taking some nude and I uh, ombre out that glitter. And then I'm going to apply the nude colors um, on my ring finger and on my pointer finger because those are the nails that's going to have the actual designs on it. So that's all I'm going to do here is just build up the nail and build up the acrylic on those two nails so uh, I could get the look to come together. So look at that brush y'all. Don't worry about it because I threw that brush in the trash. I don't even know why I got why I got that brush and I knew it wasn't going to hold up. As soon as I put it in the, the monomer girl it just started to fall out. <laughs> They are just starting to fall out, girl, like it yeah, alopecia or something. And I just felt so bad for it. But you know what? It did the job. So let's go ahead and finish uh, applying this right now.
it don't make no sense how much I had to uh, get the hairs off of the nail. So that this is the example, y'all. Don't get no cheap brush because the brush is the star of the show, okay? Like, if you don't have a good brush, then you ain't got a good set. You ain't got a good stable set. So um, keep in mind to make sure you have a good brush, sis. So y'all see me putting on, like, a thin clear coat layer because it had like a pink tone to it and I wanted that pink tone to be on all the nails since it was in the glitter mix as well so that's what I capped in the nude with on the middle finger this is just freestyling whatever came to mind is what I put on the nails okay so I just put made the full nail a glitter nail I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put the glitter and the, um, the mix that I made on the full nail and then I'm going to go ahead and cap it in with the clear top um not top coat y'all girl y'all I'm just waking up so my brain is a little just out of it but the acrylic mix and then I'm gonna put the um pink acrylic on top of it you see how long it took me to say that that's beautiful okay moving on And y'all, I didn't know at first how it was going to come out, you know, as I was going. But it started to come together and I was like, this is cute. I'm really not a pink girl, not a pink glitter girl. But, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so it is an exception. Um, sometimes my brain is just like, uh, no. And it's not because of the design. It's more because of the color. But I think it came together nicely, especially when I added the red to it. So... We're going to go ahead and finish applying this set. Um, again, this is just the uh, nude that's going to be on this full nail because we're going to put a design on this full nail. Um, so that is that. And then we should be moving on to filing. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Y'all, look how pretty up under the nail is. It's so cute. All right, so time to foul. Um, Y'all know I'm going to foul with my drill and then just get the lumps and the bumps and the humps and all that out. And then we're going to go ahead and hand foul uh, just to redefine the shape. So I'm drilling here with my drill. You can use your hand foul if you want to, sis. But I'm going to try to save my energy here. So... Uh, like I said before, everybody knows I'm a advocate for learning how to use the drill. If you all are interested in, um, you know, how to use the drill, the drill bits and things that sort, let me know, comment down below, and I will make videos on how to actually use the drill and what each, what each drill bit is. What is, girl, what is drill bit? What uh, each drill bit is used and created for so i am just going to try to uh sharpen up the 
shape because sometimes when you apply the acrylic um, and especially encapsulating you can kind of lose the shape so I'm going to define those um, and get the shape back together and get the acrylic as smooth as possible and then we will go on to the design Okay, sis, that's how we look and what you think. Let me know. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, foul. It was out of uh, it was out of focus, girl, so we just had to skip that. And look at my brush, y'all. I bought that for $1.25. Ain't it cute? From the dollar store here. Go ahead and sanitize those hands. And they are so cute. I would have actually worn them like that, too. But y'all know I had the TikTok. Follow me at The Dip Life on TikTok. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add our gel top coat because it's time for us to go ahead and finish off the design. I am um, shining up the glitter so I can see what it actually looks like and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. So that is the ombre glitter nail. I wish I would have had a little pinker color, but it, it was all right. Um, you see me going up under the nail because I used the clear acrylic so I wanted it to be kind of see-through as well so cure that for 60 seconds and let's go ahead and go to the design um, y'all know I've always said you can use your color acrylic to do the smile line um, but don't nobody got time for that no more we done learned a new way sis and that's to use the gel top coat to make the smile line and the designs uh, because once you use gel you can cure it for 60 seconds and go on to the next now, here we are with the um, the heart nail, like the yin yang sign. I am drawing the red first because that is what was going to define the actual actual curves, and then I'll fill it in with the pink. The pink is very light, so I did have to go in multiple times to actually darken it up and to fill it in. So you'll see me do that next. Um, but I'm just trying to, you know, draw my outlines and stuff first. Now, I would suggest, again, whenever you're making designs with gel, 
cure it in between each time you can because the longer that it stays there the more it starts to bleed out especially colors like white black red they will bleed out very quickly so just try to cure those every time you are making a part of the design because if you don't you're going to be going back cleaning up like i did so i'm going to let you guys see how i finish this part and then we'll move on Now that we have that design actually done, like the base of it, we're going to make sure that we put a gel top coat on it to um, protect it from the next design because you don't want to possibly mess up, have to uh, not only just do the design over, but the whole base of it as well. So make sure that you are using gel top coat or you're curing in between separate designs. So I'm going to add the uh, hearts in the opposite color, just like the yin and yang side, like the black and white side. Um, but instead of the dots, we're going to use hearts because it's Valentine's Day, okay? And it's about love. So you see how I'm doing the hearts? It's just two dots with my daughter and I'm joining them together with mine. I can't draw, so this is an easy technique for me. And if I can do it, trust me, sis, you can do it. And it came out so super cute, so... That is probably like my favorite nail of the set. I might do a whole set just like that. Now make sure y'all wipe off the tips. Why? Because y'all wore me out the last time. So <laughs> I'm going to say it every time. Wipe off the side of the tips. Sis. Now those embellishments, I got the, those from um, Hobby Lobby as well. I think they were supposed to be like buttons or something like that. But being a nail tech, you have to be creative. You can turn anything into like some stones or some gems or some nail art. You just finesse it. So you can see that I'm trying to cut the little tag, the holes, and that just didn't work. So we're going to use the drill, okay? Learn to love the drill because the drill is going to help you out a lot. So we're just going to drill those off the back so we can make it flat, kind of sand it a little bit so it can stay, stay and stick on to the nail. So that's what I'm going to do here. And the smaller that the embellishment is, this and the little charm is, the tighter you're going to have to hold it because that thing just kept flying out of my hands, as you can see. But once... Um, once you foul it, just go ahead and figure out what placement you want to put it on your nail. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to the lips now and it's just flying everywhere, y'all. I used um, gel polish, uh, top coat, to secure it. I cured it 60 seconds. But when you are putting this on a client's hand, you want it to be as strong as possible um, so it can last them. So make sure you're using Gorilla Glue gel 
or some type of like Savorsky crystal or stone type of glue because you don't want them to call back or come back and say, hey, my charms fell off. No, especially how big they are. You're going to need to definitely double secure it. So that is that. And then now we're going to do my French tip nail, which is what I spoke to you about earlier, where you have the option to do it with, uh, a, you know, the color acrylic. But we just going to do it with gel polish because it's faster and it's easier uh, and it's more simple to just clean up. So we're going to use our red because we just want to tie in the whole look together. You know, the pink was our base, but we just got to add a little red in there, just a little pop. Maybe because I'm a fire sign and an Aries that, you know, we just got to make that thing like give it some bye-bye boom is what I say. So go ahead and make your smile line. You, you're going to do two lines at the sides and then your swoosh. And then you're going to clean it up and uh, you're going to cure it for 60 seconds you're going to also make another um layer of your polish if it's not opaque enough like if it's thin and you know you want to make sure that that color is popping so make sure you add a second coat which you saw me do now i'm just adding little hearts all around the french tip just to make that kind of french tip heart design i think it's the cutest thing ever and that pink is really really popping on that red and just making the whole look come together so two dots bring it together you got you a heart sis it's so simple most of the designs i'm going to do is very simple because i can't draw and so I'm just trying to help you guys out, you know, make sure that you cure that for 60 seconds and then apply a clear gel top coat, wipe the sides so you won't lose your shape. And then bye bye boom, there we go. And y'all know that I had to get some pictures. So um, if you like this set, it was fun to do like, comment, subscribe, share this video, turn on your notifications so you're aware of the next video that is to come. If you have any nail suggestions or ideas or questions, comment. I will make sure I get back to you and I'll make sure I post um, your needs. So girl, the video is done. That means I gotta go. Bye.